Bill Bodgers. We're back. Dinner time. Friday. Friday. And, uh, you know what? There's a lot going on in the internationally there's a lot there's a lot happening uh, I don't know it's just a mess in it just a big mess is that song in there you remember the song war what is it good for absolutely nothing <clears throat> well that bloody in is it huh Death, destruction, mid, people being miserable, and <sighs> I don't know. Everybody starts getting involved, don't they? Money's bloody spent over there and laundered. We know where we're at. We know what they're doing. Don't know. Don't know. I wasn't really going to talk about it. You know what I mean? It's all. On the grand scheme of things, in it, but you're watching these images and people's houses and flats being bombed out, and you know, and a lot of you know, a lot of it, some of it that they're filming, they're trying to tug on your heartstrings, get you thinking a different way. I know, all right. Fact is, there's kids there, isn't there? In a war zone. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if it was me, I'd have moved out years ago. You know, you don't bring your kids up in all that, do you? And somewhere we're a bit bloody calmer. You know, I get it. It's, it's all of a land and religion and Christ knows what else. I don't know. Where's it end? Where does it end? Is there an end? Could just be human nature, you know. Folks have arguments and they don't get on, you know. Folks don't get on with their neighbours, do they? Or, you know, even members of their own family. We've all been there. But, you know, is it just that it's on a larger scale? We're all human after all. Just a shame that folk can't see that, innit? That we're all human and we've all got things in common. We all breathe the same air, we all pissing and shit in the same fucking toilet, you know. We all love. We all know right from wrong, hopefully. Just that sometimes we don't know which side of right and wrong we're on, innit? Yeah. Whoa, what is it good for? It's funny how some things kind of disappear though, innit? It's like there's been war in the Congo for like 20, 30 years or something like that, and it's never mentioned, is it? As soon as it's in Europe or, you know, North Africa or wherever the hell or the Middle East, then it starts to get mentioned. I don't know. People just need to calm down and realise that we're all the bloody same. You know what I mean? I think that's why the YouTube thing to me, you know, I find it interesting. There don't seem to be a lot of folks that are falling out on there. You, you, you get it, there's a bit of argy-bargy sometimes between channels, isn't there? Like our little, uh, our little circle. We're doing all right. Nobody's falling out. We're all having a laugh, giving each other a mention, you know. We're all getting on. So, you know, there's blowing eight cylinder, obviously, you know, for me, you know, I'm part of that team as well. And then, you know, ALW Research, IKS, and uh, Junkyard Mook over in America, and Cat Shop Industries, 
open, a little bit further up in Canada. Um, you know, all the usual ones that I go and tag in, you know. We're all getting on. If only the world's a bit more like YouTube, innit? <laughs> well, you could go around to your neighbours and say, look, I don't know how to change the oil on my car. That's all right, I'll show you. Nowadays, we don't even know our neighbours, do we? Don't know what their names are or, you know, lucky if you say good morning to them. I'm quite lucky. I live in a rural area. I kind of know everybody. Yeah, you might not get on with them or talk to them all the time, whatever, but, you know, Things happen, don't they? And you fall on your neighbours or you fall on people that you know, your work colleagues. You're going through a bit of a rough patch, you can talk to them. Might not get much sense out of them. I wouldn't know my work colleagues. But yeah, you know. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Only the world was like YouTube. Come on, let me take you by the hand. And I'll show you some World War II stuff still around. You might not have seen it before, but we'll try and explain what went on here. And about the brave people that used to be here. You know, all that sort of stuff. So... I'll show you how to change the oil on your Mini. One of my first videos. Go back and see it. I didn't know why I was going with YouTube, really. So it was kind of like a, a little bit crappy. You know, hopefully somebody learnt some or I changed the brakes on it and I filmed that. I'm still doing that on my phone. I'm on my phone today. We'll get to that later. But you know, and I still don't know where I'm going with YouTube really, it's a bit of a mix and match man isn't it? The other night, some of you might have seen, posted a cat video, alright, now my eldest is 15, right, and, he, and he's, uh, he watches the channel, alright Benj, mm -hmm. but Bodger Junior, remember Bodger Junior, a few of the videos, Um. Yeah, Budge Jr. He says, oh, oh he's, he's watching this here bloody, I don't know, a meme. Right? Well, it says, you're wasting your life watching this. What are you doing? You're not educating yourself or you're not showing people how your daily life goes. You're just watching. I don't know. It was a cat or something. He says, well, look, Dad, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make one. Right? I'm going to make a video. You put it on your... Uh, on your channel and we'll see how it does all right okay so yeah whatever so anyway he got he got this thing i don't know he's got some on his phone right an app where he can put a bit of one video and a bit of a picture behind it or summit right so anyway he says i'll come up with two random things so we've got a cat and butter right and then some music or summit so he sent that to me. I put the ending and the beginning on it, you know, like I do. Bang, 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 bang that one. Right, so I put that on. And I thought, right, I'm gonna, gonna prove him wrong here. Yeah. Seems that they all watch it, right? It's doing quite well. It's been watched maybe three, four hundred times already, right? When you're talking like, I don't know, what was it, a 60, 60 second video, something like that, and there's that many people watching it, your hours build up on your YouTube. It's like Crikey O'Reilly, you know. Is this, what, um, is this what the new generation are watching? Filling their mind with these things. Don't get me wrong, it's good for the old analytics. I looked at the analytics and, it's, and you know, it's getting the old... Uh, the channel out there a little bit, I don't know, it's beyond me. I even got a couple more subscribers. Hello to you two. Um, 
stick with it that isn't all that i do all right but yeah it's it's i don't know it's weird isn't it kids today watch out honestly the thing is while they're watching that they're not watching what else is going on in the world which is the worrying part because it's up to them to sort out a lot of the mess in it because you know especially the current situation over there in 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 the, in the Gaza Strip and all that, you know, that wasn't even how we're doing, that was a post-war thing that they set up and, you know, there's been, what, four generations in between? It still ain't sorted out, is it? People still aren't happy. Willing to kill each other over a bit of land. <sighs> all about borders and stuff like that, innit? Yeah, these people up at ISS there, up on the old space station, they look down. No borders, is there? None that can be seen. Alright, Great Wall of China maybe, but you know, that was from a long while ago. I think they've sorted out their issues. We're all human. All capable of love and all that, you know. I don't know. I hope it resolves itself, one way or other. But conflict and war. I don't know. All the technology and stuff in it keep banging into these things, and sadly, it's war that advances things, isn't it? You know, we managed to get to space because of the war. You know, a lot of the uh, those German scientists and that all ended up in Russia or America on their space programs. And then it was a race to get to the moon during the Cold War. And now we're sending satellites and stuff off into look at Mars, see if we can possibly land on Mars and colonise that. And then not only will we have neighbours here on Earth, but we'll have neighbours on a different planet. Mums, if that kicks off, <laughs> start fighting the people that we used to live with on Mars. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going a bit fast. Yeah, so I don't know really, Bodgers. Just thought I'd uh, throw my thoughts in. I don't know what my thoughts are exactly. Um, uh, it's a bit bright in it. Hang on, hang on. Stay with me. Let me just try and shade you a bit. Please. I'm not sure you can see me properly. Is that any better? Yeah. I'll do with paperwork that I should have done. <laughs> We're going right in from somewhere, aren't we? Is that better? That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just thought I'd do a blog. My usual ramblings. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Um. Yeah. We'll get back to the deadly sins. We'll get back to them. Lord knows enough of them involved with the war, I suppose, isn't the greed? That's one of them. That's probably going to be the next video. We did gluttony. And sloth. Go back and watch them, Bodgers. Go back and watch them if you haven't already. Give them a like. And subscribe. All you do is press the button. And you get to see more of this on a regular basis. Usually Friday, 8 o'clock, half 8-ish. Depending on... Uh, whether uh, me and Adie get to the 8 o'clock slot first. Uh, there'll be more from Adie. You know, he's got all sorts happening at the moment. Building the frame for the uh, for the Merlin, but we've still got to work out how to preserve that and what we're going to use on it. You might have an idea on that one. Keep watching the channel for that. Subscribe to Blown 8 Cylinder. 
and you'll uh, you'll see more on that. But uh, yeah, he's got lots of little projects, and this is where I come in now. I've got a little project, and this is why I'm on the telephone recording this because it involves a GoPro that I usually film myself on. GoPro five. Uh, this is the first one that Adi gave me and I thought that was generous and then he gave me the 9 and it blew my mind I did a video on that as well, go watch that, give it a like um, We have talked about briefly, me and Adi, at some point uh, doing a bit on the canals that are in our area Now we did visit uh, the top end of one canal, didn't we? What, what, where was that? I can't remember, I can't remember that was on his channel. Go, go, go find it, right? It was in the winter and we went to this canal and it crossed over uh, and yeah, right? But there's some in Selby as well. Now, I thought, right, I'm driving around and I'm, and I'm driving near rivers and stuff. You see a lot of boats and stuff, don't you? I'm thinking, well, the old budget doesn't stretch to that. We aren't the old, uh, we aren't the old, like, Okay, now explore exploration you know go give them a like as well i'll put links in to all these all right i, I, I will put links in right he's he's got a, himself a boat very nice but three-man boat me adi and pip but what you could do is build something that's going to house this and float in it whether that's a, a boat or whatever, a little RC boat is what I was thinking, right? But they're a little bit dear, man. I really want to invest for one little series on, on the canal or, you know, if we're out exploring anywhere, it's something I can carry with me. And then if there is a bit of water, you know, I don't know, like a, a big cooling thing or something, just whack the GoPro on it and send it out across the water. I don't know, wherever there's water, you know. So... I'm still looking at RC boats. What I have been looking at, and here we go, Bodgers, if you, if you know of one that's, that's really dirt cheap, right? I mean dirt cheap. Uh, I've been looking at uh, those fish bait boats, right? They seem a bit more stable, can carry a bit of weight, because obviously they carry the bait in them, don't they, and tip it out. I don't know, I'm not a fisherman, right? Mount one of these to it. So if I find one of those, I'll do that, but... The backup plan, right? I'll tell you what, let, let, let's start with the first bit, right? Because no matter what, it's going to have this bit, whether it's on an RC boat or I try and make something that floats and moves myself, right? Because that's the next bit. Well, anyway, we'll do an unbagging, right? So that's the GoPro, right? Mind there for now. I haven't actually looked at this, all I did was tear it open and realise what it was, right? So, wish.com, I know it should be a separate video, but for what it is, right, we, we, we might do that if I get an RC boat from Wish, hey, there's an idea. Anyway, let's take a look. So we've got a, the usual mounting arrangement for a GoPro. That box is empty. On these waterproof covery jobs. See that, bodges? Um, so it opens up, like that. Drop the old GoPro in, and it's got these little silver buttony jobs you can press that can operate it. Pulls it in tight. And there you go. It's like that ASMR thing, isn't it? Peeling off that shelf. So, yeah, so that's what we've got, Bodgers, all right? So what I want to do, it's quite weighty, all right? I want to mount that to something that floats, even if, you know, I don't buy an RC boat, this is what I want to use, just to protect it more than anything, you know? It's a good little camera. So, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do a bit of a doubly thing right so where are we 
That's you in real time, eh? Trippy. That's me filming me. Filming you, filming me. Filming me. Uh huh. This is me. The, uh, this is the view from where I am. Up on the walls of Yorkshire. The Vale of York stretching out below me. There you go. You're going to get double that. Hey. <laughs> I'll turn the sound off on one or the other. Just so I don't overdub myself. Or I'll... Whatever. I'll splice it in somehow. It'll work. Right? So, there's that. Turn it off. No point in wasting the battery. So, there's that. I've got the GoPro. And I've got the little mount that it goes on. What I might do, I have seen some other mounts that actually you can screw onto stuff, right? Because I don't think this is, uh, I haven't got the shoe bit that this clips into. I have got some, I don't know. We'll work it out. So that's the camera. And then, if I don't get an RC boat, we're going to float on the cheap. I work for a plumber's merchant, all right? So I can get pipe, and I can get caps that you can put on and seal it all up. I should be able to work some out. Or, for a lot of flotation, I've just gone and dragged that out with skip on site. So it might be I work something out with that. Now, it ain't very clear, but it is it floats. Yeah? Because the last thing I want is this thing to sink and take my camera with it, obviously. I mean, even if I get an RC boat, I might modify it so as it definitely floats. You know, it ain't gonna flip over or anything. I might have to put some, what do you call them? What do you call them, bodges? You know them, like on Hawaii 5 -0. ba 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 them boys, right? What do they, what, what's them things that go out and they've got like a, like a boom or a, or a stanchion or something, it goes across and they've got like an extra flotation thing either side of their canoe or whatever it is, aren't they? Might do, they might have to do that. On, a, on an RC boat because most of the ones I've seen are like a single hull or a, they are a twin hull but they're a little bit mm, you know because this weighs a bit you know there's a bit of weight there and I just don't want to lose it right so RC boats yeah, send me some links put them in the description below in the um, comments below right on, on RC boats that might do the job but they need to be cheap right I ain't investing a lot of money in this right so if you've got something that this will mount to or you know something that this will mount to you know or if even if there is such a product right because you type in gopro boat right or gopro rc boat nothing comes up this could be the future i might even you know market this or, or it could make me a millionaire doubt it but you know because all I've seen is ones that mount to your full size boat or will mount to your your windsurfer or whatever it is, your paddleboard. Because that's what they do nowadays. All well, the trend is paddleboarding. So, you know, I've seen plenty of that. But I haven't seen any, you know, like a dedicated thing to send this out into the into the water and film stuff. You know, you can get a close up look then, can't you? If you're on one bank and there's something on the other bank. Well, then I have to go find a bridge and walk over or whatever. Send the boat across. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, I could even flip it up that way and send it down on a fishing line or something. I don't know. You know, see you underwater. But I'd rather like a boat or something that this amount to. So, if you have any ideas, budget or whatever, let me know. Comment below. I'll look at the comments and I'll follow the links. And we'll work some out. You know, for, for when we're doing, if we start this, if we start this canal one, I don't know. We haven't, we haven't really talked about it for a few months, but we'll get back to it. So yeah. So let me know. Comment below. And uh, that's about it. So there's a bit of a reveal there for you, Podgers. Bit of a reveal of a up and coming project. I know I need to get some projects finished, all right? The lawnmower, that's turned into a winter project. We'll get back to the lawnmower, right? Router Tooty Scooter, uh, it's kind of fallen off a bit. Well, it's 15 now, and you like, mm, you know, Dad, I don't want a petrol scooter. But anyway, I might still go back to that. 
Uh, what else did we have? I ain't done. What, what are the projects have I started and not completed? Is it just them two? I don't know. I'll have a look. But we'll try and get some, some stuff finished, alright? Time and family stuff has kind of got in the way a bit of late, but we're getting back to it. Slowly but surely. So, yeah. There we go, botches. Um... So yeah, that is it. so there we go. It's been a bit of a mixed bunch, hasn't it, today, this week? A bit of a mixed bunch. So we've gone from war and what is it good for to RC boats and the camera mounted to it. Going down drain holes or wherever it is, across a across a canal or a river or whatever. So anyway, there we go. Uh, more next week. Might do another deadly sin next week. Might have something else for you, I don't know. Either way tune in next friday and uh like subscribe ring the bell because i see a lot of you aren't you're watching it but you're not subscribed or you know just, just do it hey don't take a lot and uh until next week take care of each other i'll see you later bodgers